In this video, I will show you how to triple boot Windows 11 with Kali Linux and Fedora Workstation. This is a comprehensive installation guide where I will walk you through each step. Make sure to watch the entire video without skipping any parts. Keep in mind that this guide is universally applicable to any computer. I assume your PC is running Windows 11 in UEFI boot mode with the GPT partition scheme. Additionally, it's advisable to back up any important data or sensitive information from the Windows operating system to be on the safer side. If something goes wrong, you can easily retrieve the data. Now these are the requirements of this video. You need a computer running Windows 11 operating system an 8 gigs or higher USB pen drive, and at least 80 GB of free space. To install Fedora and Kali along the side with Windows 11, you need to create a free space. Open the search bar and type disk MGMT to access the disk manager, which displays all connected drives and their partitions. In my case, you can see that one drive is connected. If you notice, drive 0 has three partitions. The first one is the EFR partition where the Windows bootloader is present. The second one is the main Windows. And the last one is the recovery partition. I'm going to choose the C drive to shrink the free space for Kali and Fedora. In your case, it might be D, E, or F, whatever. Choose the partition and right click on it. Now choose shrink volume and allocate a minimum of 80 GB or more for Kali and Fedora. You can type the value in megabytes. In my case, I'm going to allocate 200,000 megabytes. Click on shrink. This will create an unallocated free space. This is where we will be installing Kali and Fedora in a few minutes. Now open your favorite browser and visit the official websites of Kali Linux and Fedora Workstation to download their respective ISO images. Now, along with that, download and install Melana Etcher on your Windows computer. Now, first, let's start installing Kali. To do so, you need to create a bootable USB with Kali. Go ahead and connect your pen drive to the computer and open Melana Etcher. Inside here, import the Kali Linux ISO. Choose the USB drive and click on Flash. Once you're done, it's recommended to create a system restore point before installing Kali Linux and Fedora Workstation. This option allows you to take a snapshot of the current state of the Windows system. If something goes wrong with the triple boot, you can use this backup to restore your Windows to normal. Reboot your computer. While it's rebooting, enter the BIOS settings using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly, it could be F2, F9, or the escape key. In the UEFI BIOS, enable USB boot and change the boot order by setting the USB drive as primary device. Now disable secure boot, which is very important for Kali to boot. Also, if there's an option like Microsoft's third-party UEFI, enable it. It's also better to clear any keys or certificates after disabling the secure boot. Once it's done, save the changes. Your system will boot into Kali Linux from the USB drive. If in case it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load Kali install media. Now choose the graphical install option. Then choose the language. In my case, I will choose English as my default system language. Next up, choose your location and keyboard layout. Now the installer startup will start loading all the components and wait for a few seconds. To configure the network, you can choose an Ethernet or WLAN interface for the internet connection. For now, I'm going to choose the WLAN 0 interface and connect to Wi-Fi.
Now leave the host name as Kali and in the domain section, I will leave it as empty. Now create a new user account by entering the username and password. It's time to create partitions for Kali Linux. In this video, I will be using the automatic option. I'm going to choose the largest continuous free space. And this will find the free space that we allocated for Kali previously and create the necessary partitions. Now, as you can see, these are the two new partitions it has created and click on continue. The installer setup will start installing the basic system files. Once it's done, you will be presented with this menu where you have to choose your favorite desktop environment. You can choose GNOME, KDE Plasma, and XFCE. In my case, I'm going to stick to default and click on continue. Now sit back and relax. The installation process may take some time depending on the writing speeds of the disk. Once it's done, go ahead and restart the computer. While it's restarting, eject the pen drive. Now by default, it will boot into Grub Bootloader. From there, you can boot into Windows 11 or Kali Linux operating system. For now, let's boot into Kali. It's time to install Fedora Linux, restart your computer and boot back to Windows operating system. Now go ahead and reconnect the USB pen drive to your computer. Open Belana HR. Import the Fedora workstation ISO. And select the USB drive for flashing. Now this process will take some time depending on the speeds of your USB pen drive. Once it's done, now restart the computer. Your system will boot into Fedora from the USB drive. If in case it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load the Fedora install media. Now choose to boot into live media. When you are inside the live setup of Fedora, proceed to connect to the Wi-Fi. Then open the terminal and run the command to install gparted. Once installed, open gparted. Select the drive where Windows 11 and Kali are installed. In my case, these two partitions are related to Kali Linux. We need to shrink the free space from the Kali root partition for Fedora. Now select the XT4 partition, right click, choose Resize or Move, and drag the slider from the right to the left to allocate the new space for Fedora. In my case, I'm allocating 94 GB out of 194 GB. You will see unallocated free space of 94 gigabytes. Now click on the tick mark to apply the changes. Once done, click on install Fedora and set the system language. Then choose installation destination and select the drive to install Fedora alongside Windows 11. Now in this case, this is the main drive and you can see the available free space. 
they use the automatic option to create a partition for Fedora. Now click on done to accept the changes made to the disk. Now choose the time and date and select your time zone. That's it, click on begin installation. Sit back and relax, the installation will take some time depending on the speed of the drive. Once completed, shut down your computer and remove the bootable media. Now turn on your computer. Now by default, it will boot into Grub Bootloader, where you can choose to boot into Fedora, Windows 11, and Kali. For now, let's boot into Fedora. And that's it, this is how you triple boot your computer without any issues. Using the grub menu, you can seamlessly boot into Fedora, Kali Linux, or Windows 11 operating system. Now, as a bonus part of the video, if in case you decide to remove Fedora and Kali, Reboot your computer into Windows 11. Now open the Disk Manager by typing the command in the search menu. Here, next to the C drive, you will see four new partitions that were created during the installation of Kali and Fedora Workstation. Go ahead and remove these primary healthy partitions by deleting them. Simply right click on the partition and choose delete volume. You will see an allocated free space that you can use to expand Windows 11. Once completed, we need to delete the grub bootloader which is present inside the Windows EFI partition. To do so, open command prompt and run as administrator, then type disk part. Now type list disk, this will show all of the connected drives to the PC. In my case, only one drive is connected, which is where Windows and Linux bootable files are installed. I'm going to select this drive by typing this command. Then type list partition to list out all of the partitions on this drive. You might see three plus partitions. Look for the system partition or EFI partition. Now mostly, it's the first one. Now select this partition by typing this command. Once it's selected, type assign letter is equals to X to mount this partition temporarily. Now type exit to get out of the disk part prompt. 
the type x colon and this will change the directory the type dir to list the contents of their partition here we can see two folders efi and system and one file named mock kernel we need to delete the system folder and mock kernel go ahead and type these two commands to delete them Let's change the directory into EFI by typing this command. If I type DAR, this will list the contents of the EFI folder. Here you can see Kali, Fedora, and Windows 11 boot files. Go ahead and delete the Kali and Fedora directories by running this command. That's it. Now we have successfully removed the triple boot setup. The restart your computer, it should boot your system directly into Windows 11 and you won't face any grub issues. And this is how you properly set up a triple boot on your Windows 11 computer. That's pretty much it. What do you guys think about it? If you have any questions, do post them in the comment section down below and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.